Hello, Gary. Hello. Can, is it me you're looking for? I, I have got a surprise for everybody. So I'm going to start this. Uh, I'm going to start this. Oh, that's not good. Thank you, Gary. Just like a Zoom meeting. <laughs> this is weird. Can you guys hear an echo? I'm saying stuff and then it's being said right back to me. That's so bizarre. How is this going to work in my head? Why is this happening? Does anybody know? I'm here with the solution. I shan't, shan't say shit till I'm asked. How do I do that? Let me try that. Can you hear me now? People, is there anybody there? Can you hear me? Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. Well, we've lost all those uh, curious viewers who may have stayed with us if I had sorted that out earlier. God bless you. Wombat Steroids, thank you so much. Golden God, you win the can of W40 tonight. Thank you, Wombat. Right, righty ho, tighty ho. Welcome, Paul. We've got the two Neils, two members. And Neil, thank you for upgrading to Titan today. Hello, Philip Co Collins. How are you feeling in the air tonight? Hey, Alex. Hey, Robbie. Robbie, thank you so much. Um, I don't know where my unicorn cloak is. I will get it out next session. Hi, Kevin. Gary, wonderful. So we're starting very strong this evening. Remember how we kept getting lost? Well, I've just been at a gaming weekend, like a mini gaming convention with some friends. And look what Ed, the convention, gave me. Hopefully you can all see that. If you'd like to click on that, you can feel free. And then we're going to discuss what we do with this exciting information. So, amazing Edwin has gifted us these maps. Those of us here last week <laughs> will remember we got completely lost and we went round and round and round and round. I can't do, I know, isn't it pretty? Um, I can't do the mapping while I'm also gaming for us and typing the polls in. So we've all got the maps now. So it's our collective responsibility. And by collective, I mean your responsibility, viewers, to um, help us out. So we're not going to get lost anymore. Deal? How about Lockhart, if that's a deal, in the chat. And there are 40 people here so far. Welcome to Titan Fantasies, the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. Also exciting news. I have learned that you can get these books to play online. Um, I think they're apps, but if they're on Steam, my plan is to potentially buy the buy the computer game, figure out how to go live using OBS, and then we can read the books together. As we play the books, so yes. So let's uh, let's continue our quest, part four. Can you believe it? This is part four, and we haven't died. We are cheating. Um, Philip Collins. Oh no, responsibility. I know that's why I didn't have children. But, you know, hey ho. But the map is everyone's responsibility. So we were at 
uh, entry 262, the trustee posted it. Now, some way up the passage, you reach another junction where you meet, may either go eastwards, turn to 199, eastwards, turn to 251. Robbie, that is a great question. I think we have to wait until we get somewhere recognizable and then we'll carry on. But just for this moment, just for today, just for this hour, 2021, you decide, do we go east or west? Neil, there's a version of Death Trap Dungeon you can get, which is narrated by Eddie Mars, and it's really cool. But Neil, then what would I do? Aren't I your narrator? Aren't I good enough? There's always an Eddie. Always an Eddie. Okay, we've earned three votes out of 11. Let's see if we can get up to six or seven. Um, five votes out of 13. Still not really half. Give it a couple minutes. Um, okay. Seven votes. We, oh, eight votes to go east. So eastwards to the page 199. So I'm going to stick my voice. The passageway ahead widens, and you can see ahead a large cavern. As you shine your lantern around it, you can see crude stone weapons on the floor and a smouldering fire in the centre of the cave. But you see no way through. As you turn to wait your, make your way back, you stop in your tracks to see two Neanderthal cavemen barring your exit. They grunt aggressively at you. Urgh! You draw your sword and must prepare to fight. Fight them one at a time. There are two of them. If you win, leave the cavern and return to the junction. So we are on part four. I do feel we are kind of just saying that we're winning fights now. So the annoying thing in is if we win, there's no way through this cavern. So we just have to go back to where we came from. So, although we are going back to where we came from, it's saying turn to page 283. So let's do that. We're just cheating. Any newcomers, we are cheaty wheaties. 283 says, you arrive back at the junction and progress westwards, turn to 251. 251. Oh my Lord. Okay, this is exciting. This is an encounter. Amazing, uh, beautiful illustrations as usual. The passageway twists sharply northwards and ahead you hear water flowing. You eventually reach the south bank of the underground river. As you stand on the pebbled bank, you hear a fluttering of wings and look up to see three giant bats coming down on you to attack. Fight these three as single creatures. <laughs> look for giant bats on the map, everyone. Well done, Neil. Good job. Um, if we win, we turn to page 344, or we can escape by jumping into the river. I'm reluctant to start combat, so I'm going to give us the options of winning the fight or escaping via the river. The river. I should say, this weekend convention I was at, they brought some of these drinks for us. And they are kombucha with CBD. I've never tried CBD before. I don't know what it does, but um, the kombucha has helped my tummy loads. Very pleasant experience. Okay, so what's the voting looking like? Oh, 50-50 with just six votes of 15. Let's try and get this up to eight votes, and that will give us at least half of our viewers. Nine votes to fight. Oh, people are changing. Okay. Nine votes, we're going to win this fight. Win to page 344. Thank you so much, by the way, everybody, for being here again. I don't, I'm having this epiphany where I know I'm not going to have the Sunday scaries because I'm looking forward to seeing everybody here. So, yay us for um, commandeering, um, for fighting back against the Sunday scaries. You sheath your sword, having killed these bloody bats. Yes, just quick. Read a heartless ninny's comment. I still think cheating in the books is a tradition. I agree, heartless. And Gary, CBD can make you more mellow. Yes, it's a drug, isn't it? It's a 
bah, it's a druggy. You sheathe your sword and walk up to the water. Is it safe to swim? Although you cannot see any signs of danger, either in the water or around the banks, there is no way through on the north side of the river. You suddenly notice a green sword lying on the riverbed. In. You wait to retrieve it. It is light in your hand, far less cumbersome than your own weapon. It has a keen edge. This marvellous weapon will add one point to your skill. Use it. Note this on your equipment list. A mysterious oh, you guys. Anyone who's just watched full will know I am now on full alert. A mysterious voice speaking directly to your mind seems to be telling you to throw your own sword into the river. Will you? If so, turn to 56. If you want to keep both swords, turn to 153. What do we know about talking swords? Let's do the poll. I'm worrying about making mouth sounds. When you can hear gulping and stuff. So let me know if you hear mouth sounds from me because we'll have to adapt and take headphones out or something. All righty. What are we going to do? That was my fear, Neil. Is it a Laren sword? What do we got? Poll is going strong. Nine votes out of possible 14 saying keep two swords. Quite right, too. I think we should. Let's see what they say. So we're going to keep both swords and turn to page 153. I really hope we are out of the little maze bit. Just, we just want to head forward. Neil, if you keep an eye on the map, let us know if we're going the wrong way. <gasps> As you put the two swords into your belt, the new one seems to take on a mind of its own. It cuts your leg, lose one stamina point. As you draw it out, it turns rubbery in your hand. No comment. It's useless now, so you fling it into the river. It seems that the only way forward is for you to swim eastwards down the river. You plunge in and start swimming. Turn to page 399. So this would have been the outcome if we had escaped from the bat. Two is directing us to page 399. The current is strong and takes you swiftly downstream. You are washed along into a small opening and out onto a large cavern with banks on both sides. The current washes you onto the south bank. I'm just trying different voices for the entries. Let me know which ones you hate and love. 218. Okay. Uh, you are on the south bank of an underground river, facing across its black depths. There appear to be four ways of crossing. Deja vu? To your left, a rusted sign. A rusted bell bears the sign, ferry service, two gold pieces. I'm sure we've been here before. Have we been here? We've all been there. Lol, McDoobies. <laughs> ferry service, two gold pieces. Please ring. There is a small raft in front of you on the bank with a long stick resting beside it. You could punt across the river. A rickety old bridge crosses on the right. If you don't trust any of these, you may swim. Which will you choose? Ring the bell, punt the raft across, risk the bridge, or swim. I have to say, Aztec, it's a very lovely you join us every time you appear. If being lateness is your, that is your vibe, that is your vibe. So don't worry, we would have you here than not. You are so welcome. Okay, so I'm going to type these options in. Ring the bell is number one. I don't know why I feel like we've been here before. We've been to this book forever. That's a book in its own right. The last option is to swim. So this is a four-choice poll with 16 viewers. <gasps> Let's see. Let's see who chooses what. Neil, I think uh, we've all been there. Did we decide to go back to an earlier part of the dungeon? I don't think we did, Ninny. I don't know what's going on. Very cool map. Neil, got turned around somewhere. We've definitely been here. Alex, does sound familiar. 
all the ferryman take us back across. Last time we rang the bell and paid the ferryman. So what's happened? We have, let me just double check. We fought the bats. We've turned to 218. And we're back to this river. Neil, are you tracking us? Like, have, have I massively gone wrong? Um, I'm going to go back and see. I'll see if I've gone to the wrong number somewhere. So we had to go to 199. And it took us to the cavemen. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you went to the wrong reference on the post-it. The post-it was 262. And I checked the last video, and that's what we said. Definitely stuck in the maze. Okay, right. So we are where we are. We have a map now, which should help. If we're repeating, we'll just fucking charge through it. Okay, so... The chat says, 13 notes, ring the bell. Let's ring that bloody bell. Page three. Apologies, please don't hate me, people. The bell gives a dull clang, and after a few moments, you see a withered old man climb into a small rowboat moored on the north bank. He rows slowly across to you and moors the boat and limps towards you. He asks you for three more pieces. When you protest at the price, he mumbles some flimsy excuse about inflation. He begins to get angry. Do you pay him the three gold pieces or threaten him? What are we going to do? Pay or threaten? What if I have like double the length of our time in here? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Heartless. Repeating bits is tradition too. Okay, we have 18 people in the chat. So let's try and get up to nine at least of votes. Okay, so nine people say pay. We're going to pay him. We go to page 272. I'm so scared you're all going to be mad at me for ruining the game. He calms down and takes the gold. Like this from your gold. We're kind of cheating, but we also have a load of gold anyway. And rows you across the north bank. After mooring the boat, he ambles us down the passageway and to page seven. You're on the north bank of a fast flowing river in a large underground cavern. Turn to 214. Ooh, you see how easily that can be done? It's 214. Facing north, the rock face is smooth and glistening with moisture. Lots of many different hues glows on the surface. No, only grows, not glows. It's not glowy, sorry, less exciting. There is an eerie silence, punctuated only by the splash of water as it flows behind you. You have three options, and this is where the map reading uh, will come in handy. Passage runs into the northwest. A large timber door is directly in front of you. Or another passage runs out along the river eastwards. So we have a three option pole. Let's start that pole. Let's start that pole. Uh, northwest, door, or east. And I'm using abbreviations now. To quicken the process for you, for all of us. Okay, what would it be? We have 18 people. Nice to get a consensus of at least nine. Hard to hear you, sorry. Is that any better? Oh gosh, this is really chaotic, isn't it, tonight? Door is 50%. Has the sound gone? The audio is a little scratchy. Okay, let's try doing this. 